in a way, this is nice because last time I did the shaking Qigong, I, I actually couldn't see anybody. And, um, and I would have a question for you at the beginning now. Um, and I can't see everybody, but this shaking Qigong, we can do it standing or we could do it sitting. And I was also going to do um, a little bit of the tiger, uh, shamanic tiger form, because this is autumn and that's the season of metal in Chinese medicine. And this tiger form works with the lungs, strengthening the lungs and also part of that sort of letting go energy so we can just see more clearly the uh, has a lot of different benefits to it, but I don't know if people would prefer me to stand or to sit. If either would be more applicable for people. Does anyone have a preference on standing or sitting? Whatever is comfortable for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'll stand then. But know that I'll try to talk about it sitting too because I study with my um, teacher, Master Wu. And, you know, some days I can't stand for everything he does and I sit. And he always talks about modifying part of this practice. This Qigong practice is really using your visualization. So I do that too. Sometimes it's holding your arms up. And if that's tiring for me and I can't do it, I put my arms down, but I still imagine them up, use that energetic kind of connection to uh, lift the energy, so, so to speak, and, um, and help improve things. So that's the important thing. If you, if you can't do it or if during the you know, process you become fatigued and it doesn't feel right for you, don't overdo it, you know, you can put your arms down or sit and just um, use your visualization to imagine yourself doing it. So those would be my ideas. All right, I'm going to sit up here so I can stand. And yeah, so this is just, I've been studying Qigong with my teacher, uh, Master Zhang Zheng Wu, for almost 20 years. And this is one of the foundational things that we do um, called shaking. So I'm just sharing a little bit of that with you today. Um, it is to open up the energy gates, the joints, to allow the energy to move freely through the body. And we all want that. So um, we're also going to make this sound. It's, it's like a, like a, only with your mouth closed. And if you put your hands on your lower belly, you can feel it in your lower belly. So, and it's a strengthening sound. We're kind of connecting to this power in the universe, this, this thunder power, this new life energy. And so this practice is very rejuvenating and helps to bring that new life energy that exists out there in the universe into our bodies, into our lower dantian, which is like our energy center. So we'll start off first standing or sitting. We work with the tips of the fingers and the toes. So your fingers are straight and your toes are gripping floor a little bit, kind of pulling that earth energy up a little with our toes, connecting to the deep earth with our fingers. And we lift our head up, so the not tilting our chin up, but like we imagine there's a string at the top of our head, right in the middle, pulling up. That's the heavenly gate. You might feel a stretching through the spine. I'll say at times, you know, this 
just this can feel challenging and just this in itself, that elongation is really good to help open up the spine. And we do a little tuck if you can in the lower belly so we don't arch the back. Tuck. So we're kind of bringing that energy up, kind of like no weight on your waist, if you can imagine. You're lifting your upper body sort of up into the sky and the lower body from the waist down kind of deeply connects with the earth. Now we're just going to breathe. Breathing with your lung, breathing with your skin. Just take a minute to check in and see how your body feels. We kind of close our eyelids a little bit. We just have a little slit at the bottom so we can just see our nose tips. So if you feel stable, again, you can do that. Or you could sit if you don't feel stable standing. We also try to have the mouth closed in this practice. Just breathe through the nose. So the tip of the tongue touches the upper tooth ridge behind our front teeth. And our teeth are closed, our mouth is closed. This is to make this energetic connection that happens through the body, through the conception meridian and the governing meridian kind of helps that energy flow well. You can keep the mouth closed, teeth closed, and tip the tongue touching that upper tooth ridge. So just looking within, listen within. Pay attention to your body. How is it feeling? What is calling out to you? Kind of tuning in, tuning our instrument, as my teachers sometimes call it. Now we're going to imagine that we're surrounded by chi like sunlight, like all the energy of the universe just pouring into your body with your breath to all your pores of your skin. Just being bathed in this chi-like sunlight. And our breath, breathe in. Imagine that chi-like sunlight entering our body, filling up our body, moving towards our lower dantian here, just a little bit below the belly button. And when we exhale, we condense that energy into our lower dantian. So supported by the universal energy. You can think of sun, moon, or stars, light of the universe, connecting to it, part of it. Even this in itself is a practice. Gripping a little bit with the toes, bring that energy up. Fingers straight, connecting to the deep earth. Head upright, connecting with heaven. This is whatever your idea of that is. All the lights coming, pouring into your body. I'll try that mantra. <laughs> kind of condensing, using that thunder power, condensing that energy into our lower dantian. <laughs> now just imagine everything else melts away. Release all the old energy. It's everything from your mind. You don't have to think about anything else right now. Just be here, be in the moment. 
Just focus on your breath, body, and we'll start the shaking. Just take a small step to the right, about shoulder width apart. And turn over our arms slowly. Raise our hands up. Like I said, that's uncomfortable. You imagine your arms just lifting up to the sky. Connecting with that energy to your fingertips. You can lift your heels a little if that's comfortable. Stretching, opening up all the joints in the body, all the energy gates in the body. Breathing with your lungs, breathing with your skin. Still imagine you're surrounded by that chi-like sunlight pouring into your body. Dancing into the lower dantian with each exhale. Take one more deep breath in and hold it. We're gonna descend and then a little jump and release. <laughs> and then we start the shaking. Someone um, posed a question. This is uh, from one of the last shaking sessions I did about their knees bothering them. And I realized, you know, my knees are weak. I don't bend my knees that much. When I do the shaking, I'm just kind of dropping my heel. I just kind of drop my heel because for me, I, I don't really bend my knees all that much. Um, and if you bend your knees a lot and they go over your toes, you could find that you have some knee pain. So we always keep the knees from going over the toes. And if you're sitting, again, you're just dropping your foot down or dropping your heel down. I mean, you can shift your weight side to side if you're comfortable doing that, standing or sitting. And this, again, we're connecting to this Eastern energy of thunder and new life energy. It's the dancing and drumming and body, the shaking shaking our cells, shaking our organs. In Qigong, they talk about the disease. There's only one illness, they say it's stagnation. So this is shaking out any stagnation in our body, things that we don't normally move. We start to get moving here. So, just shaking the whole body. <laughs> and you feel like you can, just bringing in that universal energy, all that light, and then <laughs> condensing it into that lower belly. It's like we're charging our battery. Then we're going to bring our attention to the top of our head, our heavenly gate. Imagine chi like sunlight pouring in, just like a shower, pouring in through that heavenly gate and washing away all restrictions, <laughs> any stagnation, anything that's not moving, <laughs> just wash it away. <laughs> And we're going to bring our attention to our eyes. You can rub your inside corners of your eyes if you want from your hands, or just rotating your eyeballs, bringing in that light. Imagine the light pouring into the eyes. And rotate the eyeballs in one direction, rotate them in the other direction. <laughs> Good for the eyesight. Rotate the eyeballs, big circles. And a little pressure here. 
<laughs> Just imagine. Right with that chi like sunlight. <laughs> Any of these movements you can do longer if you're doing this on your own. You can do them for as long as you want. Any areas that feel like you have more restriction in, um, you can spend more time on it when you do this on your own. And we'll come to the nose and you can rub the corners of the nose here with your middle finger. So just rubbing that might feel a little sore and you're helping your lung chi by rubbing the corners of the nose. Rub up. <laughs> nose connects with the lungs. <laughs> Proving the breathing function. your lungs when you rub your nose. Pay attention to your nose and the breath in. <clears throat> Exhale the hum. Strengthen the lung chi. Then we're going to vibrate our lips. Lips circulate connected to the spleen and the stomach and the pancreas, our digestive system, help improve our digestion, vibrate the lips. These things can be used outside of the shaking qigong too, sometimes after everything eating a meal and I don't feel like I'm digesting well. I just vibrate my lips and I always feel like that helps me. Similarly, if you feel like you're getting cold or concerned about any kind of lung issue, you can just focus on the nose, rubbing the nose and doing that even separate from the shaking. <laughs> And we bring our attention to our teeth, clicking our teeth. <laughs> All around. Teeth are connected to your kidneys and the bones, strengthening our bones, strengthening our kidney chi. Talk about the kidneys as holding our life energy. So anything to strengthen the kidney cheese, a good thing. Just clicking your teeth. <laughs> and we're going to bring our attention to our ears, rubbing the ears. Ears are related to both the kidneys and the heart. Imagine your ears filling up the chi like sunlight, strengthening our hearing. Ears also symbolize wisdom. <laughs> Balancing the energies of the fire and water in our bodies as we. Focus on our ears. <clears throat> Next, we're going to bring our attention to our neck. Rub your neck if you want. Imagine your neck filling up, coming right, that chi like sunlight, that energy pouring into your neck. <clears throat> you can rub it, you can rotate your neck. <clears throat> Neck is related to the liver and the immune system, releasing our stress, <laughs> rotate, loosen up the neck. Like I said, you can imagine you're nourishing your neck with this energy that's coming in, this chi-like sunlight, nourishing your neck. <laughs> Relaxing the neck. Hmm. 
And next, we're going to bring our attention to our shoulders, stretching out our shoulders in any way that works for you. Imagine the shoulders filling up. She likes sunlight. The joints, imagine opening up, being nourished with that light <laughs> pouring in. <laughs> Any kind of rotation that feels good to you. <laughs> Shoulders are related to the heart, mind. <clears throat> Shake off everything from the heart and mind. <clears throat> Be in the moment, Just paying attention to your shoulders. <clears throat> for you. <laughs> if doing any of these movements are challenging, can you just imagine the joints open? Use your visualization. Make sure the lights pouring in, nourishing your wrists, strengthening your wrists. Shaking them out, releasing all tension. <laughs> and your fingers, rub down your fingers if you want to. Run down the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking the hands. <laughs> All right, then move to our back, shaking our back. Any kind of movement that works for you. Tap your back. All right. Back is like the mountain, the body. Picture your back. Filling up that chi like sunlight. Picture your back is a powerful mountain. Supporting your energy. <clears throat> and now imagine your spine. Spines filling up with the light. <clears throat> All the spaces in the spine opening up. Imagine your spine stretching up into the sky, down into penetrating into the earth. <clears throat> Strengthening our spine, special spiritual place. <clears throat> Bring our attention to our kidneys. Rub your kidneys if you want. The chi from your hands, nourishing your kidneys. <laughs> the special mantra for the kidneys, it's like high hay, but with the mouth closed. <laughs> 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 Nourishing the kidneys, the chi like sunlight pouring into your kidneys. 
Condensing that energy there. <laughs> Helping improve our life energy, longevity. <laughs> we work to strengthen the kidneys. And we'll come to the chest, to the heart and lung. Just shaking the heart, shaking the lung. <laughs> Imagine that she likes sunlight. Pouring into your heart. <laughs> Pouring in, filling up your lungs. <laughs> Brightening the body. Bring our attention to our belly. Take all of the organs in the belly. Tap around on the belly. <laughs> Gentle. Tap more vigorously. I think when I started doing this, I felt my belly was sensitive. And I was definitely much more gentle with just moving your hands around. And as it develops, find a little more popping out in the stagnation and organs in the belly. Tapping around all directions. <laughs> all your organs, right, build with vitality. <laughs> Now we're going to bring our attention to our hips, opening up the hips, largest spiritual gate in the body. Imagine filling up your hips and the whole pelvic bowl with light. <laughs> All that light, you just kind of swirl it around, releasing any stagnation in the hips. <laughs> Turn, stretch out your hips any way that works for you. Stretch out the front of the hip. <laughs> and pay attention to our knees. Shaking your knees, depending on how you feel, you can rub your knees with your hands, shake out your knees, make sure you're stable. If you're shaking out your knees, you can rotate your knees. She likes some light filling up your knees, <laughs> strengthening your knees. <laughs> Shaking up the ankles. Sometimes I hold on to a chair, rotate my ankles. Lots of cracks for me, rotating my ankles, shaking out any restrictions, tension in your ankles, nourishing them, chi like sunlight, imagine it filling up your ankles, strengthening them, <laughs> and our feet. Our Life energy connects at our feet. So, stomping our feet, toes. Can try to stretch out your toes. <laughs> like thunder sound, stomping our feet. 
Feel that vibration through your whole body. <laughs> Even a little stop, you know, shakes the whole body's system vibrating out any stagnation, any restriction, helping the energy to move more freely through the body. <laughs> I'll just take a minute for anything you found was a particularly good spot. Just one minute freestyle shaking anywhere you like. Find my shoulders for me. Arm work lately. My shoulders and my neck are tight. I'll just do a little more. <coughs> More focus work there, watching that chewy like sunlight coming in to nourish, fill up any area that feels weak or that you have pain in, <clears throat> restriction. <clears throat> you said you can use your hands, especially after we've been shaking them. You can use your hands to rub any areas that feel restricted if it's hard to shake it. Settle down and stop. Just be still. Pay attention to your body. Now that our body's still, you might feel the energy is still moving in your body, still working. You might feel buzzing, heat different kinds of chi sensations, energy still working with your body. Take a minute, see how you feel compared with when we started the shaking. I'm going to turn our arms back over. We're going to bring all that energy that we generated back in <clears throat> to our lower belly. You can place your hands on your lower belly, just crossed over each other, or kind of cross up the thumbs with women. The right hand inside with men, it would be the left hand inside. You just kind of cross your thumbs and place that over your belly. And focus on this lower dantian. All the energy breathing in. Again, still breathing with your lungs, breathing with all the pores of your skin. Imagine that chi like sunlight entering your body. And when you exhale, you're condensing it in this lower dantian. It's a reservoir of our energy. Now, seeing it is autumn season, which is Time related to the tiger and metal element, which is our lungs and our large intestines. Right now, this month in particular is called, uh, it's related with guan, which is observe. It's a great time to 
take a few minutes just to be still, just paying attention to yourself, to your body. Kind of disconnect from everything going on around you, bringing your eyesight within. And I thought I'd share just a couple of movements of the shamanic tiger form. Again, this is particularly good for the lung and the large intestine, but Qigong, really all the moves are beneficial for every part of your body, especially these first few movements are really focused on awakening our energy in the body, connecting to our energy. So just put the hands straight again, very similar to what we did in the beginning, only a different visualization of this. Again, gripping the toes a little bit, fingers straight, penetrating the earth, little tuck in the lower belly, so as best we can, try not to arch the back. Head upright, not tilting the chin up, but like a string pulling up from the top of your head. And we're going to imagine that we're in the primordial chi field. This is before everything was created. It's a special time we're working with all the energies mixing light and dark together, big ball of energy. Imagine the middle of this energy. And just a mass of chi feeling all of our pores are open, all of our joints are open, the chi just penetrates in. Feel like your body dissolves. The way you know you're there is just by connecting to that lower dantian and you exhale. Energy still connecting. That part of you, the only part of you that still exists it's part of the energy is within us, we are within the chi. Imagine that strength and that power. And then connect with the shamanic tiger. Imagine like the white tiger kind of coming up from your dantian like you become the tiger make a little bit of a curl with your fingertips and this tiger awakens just stretching out you probably see cats doing this too Little story that actually the tiger learned these things from cats. Stretching out, wiggling your body, your spine, your back, your hips, all your joints. Just way to open up, connecting with your own life energy, and your free flowing energy is a powerful tiger. Fingers, wrists, elbows, shoulders. Just try to keep your head facing forward. Your ankles, feet. It's like a big cat waking up, waking up all the energy that's in our body.
beautiful and powerful, powerful tiger. Waking up for a long rest. Higher down low. It's hard to do it physically again. We use our visualization to move the energy in our body. Working with the chi to create the physical. Bring it all back in. We can we cross over the thumbs again? See? And we just bring can your elbows kind of together. Just underneath your chin, your hands. Bend the knees a little, kind of scooping out. Bit of a, like a hollow. You bring everything back to the heavenly cave. So imagine you're just bringing everything back. Prenatal cave, like your back and womb. All your breath is focused on your lower dantian, just a little bit below your navel. All that energy, breathe in the chi like sunlight, in through the body, connecting to the dantian when you exhale, strengthening that lower dantian. Really powerful method for increasing your life energy. And you can do it sitting too on a chair. You just don't want to be leaning back. You want to have a little bit of that tuck in the lower body if you can. Shoulders coming in if you can. And if not, just imagine you're back in the sacred cave, back in the womb, the prenatal energy surrounding you and connected to your lower dantian. Exhale, just strengthening that energy, our life force. You can do this as long as it's comfortable for you. It's great to try and do this for five, ten minutes a day. This here, just bring our hands down with the hum sound. <clears throat> Straighten the body. Closing, open up your hands, scooping up all this energy, all this chi we've created, bringing your hands up above your head and palms together down to the center. Grab your hands, exhaling all breath out of our lungs. It's like we're creating fire. In our hands, and then we're going to breathe in that chi from our hands, women from the right hand, men from the left hand, and swallow it down to your dantian. And put our palms nourishing our eyes, nourishing our eyesight, and rotate your eyeballs again. Take them to the right. We traditionally do it nine times to the right and then nine times to the left. And big circles. And 
back to washing the face, that middle finger by the nose. Breathing in, you go up. Hmm. Mm. 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 Comb our hair with a little tension in our fingertips. Start the head down. Comb our hair, breathing in. Hmm. Exhale down. Hmm. Hmm. Rub the ears if you can. Thirty-six times traditionally. We always say if you're rubbing your ears and there's rub one direction, you can rub the other direction. Hands down over our lower belly again. Just make that short ear rubbing for time here. We're gonna click our teeth 36 times. Think about your kidneys when you're clicking your teeth. Then we're going to take our tongue and rotate the tongue around the outside of our teeth nine times to the right, nine times to the left. And inside our teeth, nine times to the right, nine times to the left. The tongue is also related to the muscles, strengthening the muscles in our body. Can we rotate our tongue? Particularly good one for us that have the FSHD. I find it challenging. And you can do that just as a standalone practice as well, rotating the tongue. And we have saliva in our mouth, swallowing it down into our tongue here. Call it the long life water, nourishing us. Thank you very much. That's the end of shaking Qigong and just a little bit of the tiger form, just the first couple of movements. Um, my teacher actually does, a, he lives in Sweden right now, but he does a Zoom version of this uh, tiger form. He always starts with the shaking and does tiger right now on Saturdays mornings. And I think from uh, a couple of sessions ago, we put his um, information in the, in the credits or something. So I would say if people want to do more of the shaking and have that experience, he's a good person to have that with. But uh, I don't know if anyone has any questions. We have a few minutes left. You can unmute yourselves and uh, take any questions if you have them. Oh, thank you. Um, so like I said, I've been doing Qigong for almost 20 years. And for me, it helps me not just physically, but mentally and emotionally feel more centered. 
that are able to deal with difficulties. I do feel like it's helped my strength a lot. Um, and I've noticed times where I've had sort of downgrade in my uh, physical strength, especially after I've been sick. Um, or when I am sick, I try to just do the meditation and I have felt like that's helped me recover quicker. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for joining me. Thanks. Not sure if anyone else can talk or if, I don't think we had a moderator. I'm, I'm familiar with this, but thank you all. Bye.